Hey, welcome back. This is our Boros Cycling Run, match number five. Currently 4-0. and oh. Looking at an opening hand with a lot of one mana cyclers, no red mana, and not much to do. Um, we're going to cycle to try to find some action. Our opponent uh, on a blue deck, which tends to be a little slow. We do have a turn three play, though, with Memory Leak. Uh, worst scenario. And uh, it's our turn. We draw one of our best cards, Reflection, with no red mana to cast it. So we're just going to have to memory leak here and see a hand that's a little scary for our deck. Uh, opponent has a nice curve, plenty of mana. The Essence Scatter definitely scary given we have no creatures and he's in no rush to play out anything on his board. Although I feel like a creature with the ability to draw every time it does damage given our lack of interaction is just too dangerous to leave in his hand. We dilly a little bit here, so I cut the video, but we're gonna play the healer into the Essence Scatter. Hopefully he bites, opponent does not. Uh, so our plan is just to healer and then cycle our two, uh, two cycler uh, on our turn. Just really digging for red mana right now. So decision point here, we draw our fifth land with our sixth in hand, so Vandasaur could actually be played next turn. Um, opponent probably saving Essence Scatter for our uh, companion, but we cycle into a Snare Tactician, which I'm wondering if he'll bite on that, feeling that maybe my companion is more valuable given his ability to uh, kind of counter my creatures with his Deadeye and his Blitz Leech. Fast forward, opponent really does nothing in his turn, leaving five open mana. Uh, again, I end up deciding that digging for my first mountain is maybe a little more important, given everything in my hand is uncastable. Get the mountain, so uh, Reflection is definitely a go this turn, with the uh, Essence Scatter still in hand. We decide to attack with only the healer, uh, wary of his Deadeye being flashed in to cut off our Tactician. Play Reflection post-combat. We're going to assume that the Deadeye is coming end of turn. It's just a great blocker against the Reflection. And end of turn, in comes the Deadeye. Opponent ends up tanking his main phase for a little while until deciding to attack with the Deadeye, which uh, I'm fine with at this point in the game. So my next turn starts, and I cut out a little bit, but I basically draw fumes, play a land, tank for a while, decide I'm just going to cycle fumes and kind of do what I did last turn, uh, willing to trade my reflection for his uh, Blitz Leech, assuming I can get my companion into play. It's a pretty pivotal turn for both my opponent and I, uh, given what I know about his hand and how fragile it makes my hand and my board feel. I'm just choosing to ignore the two cards I don't see in his hand. So I just go ahead, uh, attack all, and as I said, I'm willing to make some trades here. And the Blood Curdle comes out of nowhere, and that feels like a major setback. Uh, looking at my hand, I still have to deal with an Essence Scatter, which he's kept mana up for, as well as a Blitz Leech. So this doesn't feel good. Especially once the Deadeye gets Menace on it, and uh, yeah, my blockers aren't really looking forward to that. So I play the healer, pass to my opponent. Uh, the summary of his turn is he basically tanks it for a while and does nothing, which is horrific. So this is a big decision point for me. Given that my hand is only a land, I feel like my companion is worth more than second tactician. I'm not sure that's the right call, but I feel like he's going to have to use his Essence Scatter at this point for either that card or my companion. They're scary. I have enough mana. I've kind of hidden that information from him. So my companion is relatively safe to play. So I'm feeling okay about my board here. I feel like I can sneak two damage through here. I don't think he's going to block, and I have enough back, um, you know, even with his Menace creature to block, I think, his board profitably. In comes the Capture Sphere, which ruins that plan. Cutting out all the time my opponent tanked on his turn doing nothing. So he's got 7 mana up and a Blitz Leech, which feels pretty good to play here. Not surprised to see that come down. Put the board in massively in his favor. Me drawing a land gets me nothing. Uh, now he's 2-1-ing to me in board advantage. 
And this is starting to feel pretty bad. I don't know what I can draw here to win this, but he plays a capture sphere, which feels terrible because I can no longer block any menace creature he can play. And then drawing claws here. Yeah, I don't think cycling is really gonna do anything for me. I think my thought here is basically maybe he attacks with Blitz Leech and I can take that out with a combat trick. Uh, although I'm still probably gonna be taking eight from him, which is massively detrimental to my health. And here comes the nail in the coffin. At the time, I didn't realize uh, how bad Menace was here. I was just thinking about the discard and how smart I was for unintentionally holding a mountain in my hand. But, uh, you know, I think I make a move here. Oh, I'm going to Raking Claws your Cavern Whisperer and at least take him off the board. And, uh, yeah, oh, it has Menace. So, misplay? Dumb me? Uh, so right here, I would probably normally concede, but I'm doing the video. I just want to see, you know, maybe one last card, uh, any kind of Hail Mary tank in here for a little bit. I decide to just take the damage, whatever. This is kind of a lost cause. And drawing a land, yeah, cycling it sounds great. I can tap nothing on his turn that helps me. Ooh, I can play a Gorilla play the gorilla out so that was the last cards of my deck clearly outclassed ultimately i'm not sure i could have played this any better given his three removal spells plus a counter spell plus a dead eye plus a leech felt like a massive uphill battle especially with missing red even though i don't think drawing red early would have helped so as always if you disagree you see something i missed or you would have done differently please let me know in the comments thanks for watching